أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله This is your brother Asif Irani from INT and today we're going to give you a brief summary of the first juz which will be recited inshallah by Sheikh Majid and other Hufaz. Today, inshallah, our Hufaz are going to recite and start from Surah, al- Surah Al-Baqarah and they will continue tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. One ayah which I would like to share with all of you about Surah Al-Baqarah is that in the beginning of Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us condition of getting benefit and guidance from the Quran. And it's very important in our modern time. How can you get guidance and benefit from the Qur'an instead of getting doubts from the Qur'an? And the very first condition of getting benefit from the Qur'an, according to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, says, الَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْغَيْبِ Those who believe in the unseen world, الْغَيْبِ And think about it, my brothers and sisters. Our current modern world is actually built on denial of the unseen reality. Our current modern society doesn't believe in anything beyond their seen faculties. So they don't believe in the unseen God. They don't believe in the hereafter which is in the unseen. They don't believe in anything which cannot be observed from the physical or empirical sciences. Hence what? How can you get benefit from the Quran which is given by the God who is in the unseen and who reminds us in the Quran every now and then about hereafter, which is in the unseen. So if you don't believe in the unseen, you won't be able to take benefit from the Quran. And that's the biggest challenge in the modern society, that we are slaves of our seen world. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, this is the first condition that we have to come out of that mentality to get benefit from the Quran. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us all the ability to believe in the unseen world. Ameen, Ya Rabb.